Have you ever wondered how to optimize a piece of copy or a blog post to be findable for that keyword? That's what we're going to talk about today. Okay, let's talk about the elements Google cares about for optimization or just relevance. So if you were writing a term paper or um, you were creating a blog post, of course it's going to be about one topic with supporting points. The supporting points are a little different for Google. So take a look at my screen here. These are the elements that Google cares about. The first one is, of course, the title tag. The title tag shows up in that tab at the top of your browser. Very important that the keyword be there to start with. The second one is the headline, also called the H1 or the header tag. This is what tells Google, it's like the headline of a newspaper. It has a big promise statement with the keyword in it, very important. The next one's going to be body copy. I gotta write something and I wanna make sure that of course my keyword is sprinkled throughout. Then of course we've got images. If I want an A plus on my term paper, I'm gonna make sure that I've got images that are named that keyword. And then finally, I'm going to make sure I have links. Now, what I like to call this is the THBLI method. Title, headline, body, links, images. THBLI, write that down, put it on a sticky note, put it on the front of your computer, whatever it takes for you to remember. That's where you go back and pop the keyword in across the page. So we're not trying to paint it with keywords. We're just carefully putting it in the right elements that Google cares about. So we've got, again, we've got the title. Remember the title of the paper. So let's talk about the elements. So I'm going to walk you through an example. And here we've got dog groomers. So I own a dog grooming shop. Go figure. And uh, I also wanted a reason to put dogs in my presentation. So here we are. Uh, so we're going to optimize for dog groomer Denver as a specific keyword phrase. I've done my research, it gets 590 searches per month. That's a pretty good search volume, especially if I'm a dog groomer in Denver. So we're just gonna start off with the keyword is dog groomer Denver. And it's 590 searches a month. I could do that. So let's walk through the elements that we're going to tweak as we go through this. Now in the description below, I'm going to have a download for you which is a SEO content cheat sheet. And the cheat sheet is it going to give you all the elements I'm going to walk you through right now, but you'll be able to follow along. So if you have to pause the video right now, go download that sheet and come back. No problem at all. We'll wait for you. Okay, so we have our keyword focus, Denver Dog Groomer. And don't forget to fill in your sheet as we go along. So that's our keyword focus. And it gets 590 searches per month. And you'll write that right next to it in the content template. And then the next is that title tag. Remember, it's the title of your book. It's the title of your term paper. It's the title of your page. Now, the tricky part is you got to bake the keyword into the title. So what we're going to look at is how can we put the keyword first and then something creative on the back? I call this the mullet. As you can see, we've got one from John Travolta, Billy Cyrus, and John Stamos. So you can pick your favorite. But we want to think about keyword in the front. Remember, business in the front, party in the back. So how does that look like for our Dog Groomer Denver? So the title is Dog Groomer Denver colon, remember that's the part, business in the front, and then you could say anything you want behind it, like grooming for your canine friend. Now I use the word canine because I don't want to use dog dog in the same title tag. So this is what shows up in the Google search results as the blue title that goes right on top of your search engine results listing. So it's very important that you craft this, and so not only does it have the keyword in it, but that it looks interesting. It's like, remember you're romancing the click. You want to make sure they click on that because you've given them something so juicy, so interesting that they absolutely have to click on it and check it out. All right, so title again is Dog Groomer Denver, colon, grooming for your canine friend. Now let's talk about the headline. So the headline is like the headline of a newspaper. It's got to pack a punch, right? It's got to bring me in. It's got to excite me to read the rest of the article. So the headline you can write in on your document is, Finally, a dog groomer in Denver your canine will love. So you want to make sure this is a little more conversational, a little more easygoing. We're not going to just like pop the keyword in the front like we did in the title tag or the headline. I'm sorry, this is the headline. But we're going to make sure finally a dog groomer in Denver your canine will love. So this is going to be right at the top. It's a really big font that shows up at the very top of the page. Now the next one is a little more trickier. 
For a long time, we said minimum 300 words of body copy. I want you to write what you feel is a good amount of copy, maybe three or four solid paragraphs. In another video, I'm going to show you how to actually get the exact content number for that article. So SEMrush has something called an SEO content template, and it will give you the exact amount of content you need to write for any keyword you want to rank on the internet. But for right now, I want you to think about just write something, just start, like three nice sized paragraphs with the word Denver Dog Groomer, right, sprinkled throughout. It doesn't have to be together, you might separate it. So let me show you this. So I have this written on your sheet for you. You may be wondering what dog groomer services to request at your Denver pet shop this year. So we're getting it sprinkled in there, but now you have to really give them some meat and potatoes, right? You have to really talk about what do you do? What kind of grooming services do you have? You have to think about how to make that interesting as well as how to make it relevant for that one keyword. That's what SEO content optimization is all about is making sure that you have a consistency from top to bottom of that keyword relevance or keyword phrase. Then if I'm really like, I was an A plus student, man, I would sit in the front row. I would hang out the office hours. I want an A plus. So if you want an A plus on your SEO content paper, you're going to need to have images. So you might have stats, you might have photos, but what's important here is that you name the images the keyword. So as opposed to naming the image 324 underscore 302 dot JPEG, like you see on my screen, we're going to name it dog groomer Denver dot JPEG. So when I go into Google images, which is the number two way people search on Google, boom, there's your picture and they're going to click on the picture, go to your website. So what happens is, is when Google comes to a page, it gives you about eight seconds to figure out what it's about and then parse all these different elements. So it comes to the page, it says, okay, great, what's in the title? Sees Dog Ver Dog Groomer there. Then it sees it in the headline, sees Denver Dog Groomer there. Then it looks at the content and it sees Denver Dog Groomer, you know, filtered throughout. And then it sees your images are Denver Dog Groomer 1.jpg, Denver Dog Groomer 2.jpg. So now you are having an A plus term paper because you have met all of those elements that Google cares about. Now, one more thing I forgot to mention is you want to hug your content. Meaning when you start writing, you're going to start with Denver Dog Groomer at the very butt front and you're going to end with the very last words in the paragraph. You're hugging the content so that Google's like, are you going to switch topics in the middle of your content, which people do. Uh, as a deceptive practice. So we just want to make sure they know that we're going to start with that concept and we're going to end with that concept. So when you launch your new website, it is absolutely about Denver Dog Groomer. There's no question in Google's mind. It knows exactly where to put it. So remember, T-H-B-L-I, title, headline, body, links, images. Live it, know it, love it. <laughs> if you want a piece of findable content, just kind of make it T-H-B-L-I and it will rank so fast it'll make your head spin. Are you seeing how you can be findable for a keyword now? I love this stuff and I love creating content to help you be the most findable business online. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get a notification of our daily videos. I'll see you at the top of search results very soon.